Golf has a problem, slow play. PJ Tour average now is creeping up around the five hour mark for a round of golf. JB Holmes recently won the Genesis Open. The final group took five and a half hours to play their final round. Far, far too long. It's causing people to fall out of love with the game. It's stopping people getting into the game. We've got to do something about it. Today, I'm gonna to do just that. Got myself a little bit of help, a little toy, and today, we're gonna to try and play a round of golf in less than one hour. Yes guys, welcome back to Seven Golf and welcome down to Collinsley Park Golf Club. If you are new to the channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on this video if you do enjoy it and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this one. Very, very interesting. We're talking about slow play. We're talking about how some of the guys are at the wrong end of that. Five old hour rounds, far too long for me. Kevin Nahr, actually one of the players on the PJ Tour, used to get a lot of stick for his slow play. He once tried to flip it on himself. He was having a bit of a bad tournament, found himself out first on the final day. He managed to go around in less than an hour, 59 minutes. He was sprinting, fair play to him. But that's not the fastest. The fastest round of golf ever recorded, done by a man called Steve Scott, also the inventor of speed golf. He's once gone round in less than 30 minutes, 29 minutes, absolutely incredible. And today, we are down here with the guys from Scooter, this fantastic vehicle, motorbike, scooter, golf buggy. We're gonna talk about that a little bit more. We've got this amazing toy with us. See if we can go around in less than an hour. And that's not the only toy I've got with me today. I've also got myself a brand new Tag Heuer Connected Watch Golf Edition. This thing is not only a smartwatch, a fitness tracker, messages, music player, but it's also got an incredible golf GPS system on it. It allows you to track when you're playing new courses like this one, where things are, gauge your distance, and keep your score. So more about that later. But now, onto this bad boy. This thing has got a top speed of around 40 kilometers an hour. So let's jump on board, let's get over to the first tee, and let's see if we can get around this course here in less than an hour. Let's do this. Stopwatch is officially going on. We're away, quick. Okay, so Collingtree Park here in Northampton, nice little par 72 golf club, just down the road from where I went to university actually. And I'm gonna be playing today with Mason. Mason is from Scooter. It's meant to be a handy golfer himself, so I'm looking forward to this one. That is so fast. I've hit the ball and literally I've blinked and I'm at my ball. I think I've just got to my ball in literally about 10 seconds flat. This thing moves. Here's where I am on the green, the first hole. The Colling tree to the middle of the green is actually only 105 yards, which is nice. Front of the green, got about 90 or so yards. Pin looks steady front, I reckon about, about 100 yards for this one. Bye. Right, let's talk a little bit about these fantastic vehicles. This here is Scooter. This is, I think, potentially the future of transportation on the golf course, or potentially off the golf course, because these things are very soon, I hear, about to become road legal also. Max speed of 40 kilometers an hour. That's right, that is way quicker than any normal golf buggy and also a lot, lot lighter. It's got a 60 volt lithium battery, which gives it a 30 kilometer range, 40 kilometer morale top speed. It only weighs 70 kilos. A normal golf buggy weighs 500 kilos. And the big thing for me is the tires. These tires here are the same thickness as a normal golf buggy tire, meaning there's absolutely no concerns for golf clubs for these to be you know, causing a problem on the golf course. It's less weight and it's also the same um, tread as a normal golf buggy. So there's absolutely no reason why they do any more damage than a normal one, if any at all. So I'm having a huge amount of fun on this. It takes a little bit of getting used to. If you're probably a regular motorcycle or scooter driver, you're gonna have no problem at all. But after the first couple of holes, I already feel very, very comfortable on one. And when you're flying down the fairway after you've bombed a drive and you're at your ball in two seconds, it's a very nice thing. Twist face, special that one. At the heel, it's concentrate anyway. Yeah. 
Didn't break like I thought it would that one. That is gonna be the first bogey of the day. It is a five, however, we are now through three holes. We're only on five minutes and 47 seconds. Beat that. Okay, we've got a nice little bit of uh, paved tarmac pathway in between two of the tees here at Collins Green. We're going to find out how close to the top speed we can get. Top speed's meant to be around about 40 kilometers an hour. So let's see down this little stretch just how fast we can go. It's got a speedometer as well, this thing, so you can keep an eye on it all the time, which is pretty cool. Anyway, on your marks, get set, go. See ya. Forty-five kilometers an hour. I just got that up to. I found the first fault with this thing, though. No wind visor. Going that speed, you get midges. They smash into your face. I think I've got a few in my mouth. Unbelievable. You're like exhilarating. I never would have thought that I could have more fun in between golf shots than actually hitting the ball. This thing's amazing. The three with two putts. Now the ninth hole, half five. Look at that water in front of the green. Back to level par, let's have a look at the timer. Oh yes, and you know what, we're on for a good time. Broken 30 minutes for nine holes. Who knows, could we go under par? I'd say level par would be nice. Could we go level par in under an hour? That'd be something special. Okay, the 15th hole here, little 150 yard par three. Let's see if we can play this hole in less than 60 seconds. Let's go. Maybe, maybe close. Hard to tell. Landed on, took a soft bounce, pins in a really tricky spot there. Hopefully it grabbed a piece. Okay, so a pretty decent shot in there. Gone through in the fluffy rough. Not a long chip, but quite a treacherous one. Don't want to drop a shot now, because I've been playing pretty solid all day. The short game has been good. That's up and down, a stay one under, and limp home. We can do this, we're on for it as well. 52 minutes, 23 so far. Got time to finish sub par, sub hour. That is the double we want. Sebi, nothing silly, just don't get heroic. Just tap this down, tap in range. Ooh, it's leaked on a bit longer than I'd like. Let's tuck that one in. Thanks, Mason. Ok, 
come on. Not a chance in hell. 56.48 on the clock. So look at the distance here. It looks like a long way to me. Let's have a look, see. Yeah, 250 to the middle green. Island green here. Absolutely no way I'm going for this. Gonna lay up. Hit a 150 yard shot down short of that bunker. Have a, a short shot in. Don't get silly now, Sebi. Safety first, boys and girls, safety first. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty that's handy layup, that Sebi. Don't mind that, what have we got in? 132. And we've got 58 minutes, 16 on the clock. Quick, Sebi. More room long than short. It's going to be an eight for safety. Down in three and we're in business. Oh, please go for me. Oh my God, I just left that short. We're in all sorts of trouble now. Right, Mason has just hold his ball from the fairway for an eagle two, mate. Eagle three, eagle three. sorry. Eagle three. Uh, we didn't get it on camera, but Mason, pick your ball out, do the honors. I've, near, I've tried to bottle this, guys. I've sort of tried to take a bit off an eight iron, and I've left it a little bit short. I've tried to make this as hard as I can for myself. I've nearly got in the water and killed it. We're not quite gonna get the hour. I mean, it's 59 minutes, 46 seconds, and I don't wanna rush this, because I don't shoot under par much these days. It's gonna be over the hour mark, but can we just up and down and get one under par? Come on, Sebi. Nice and soft, leave an uphill par. Definitely done that. I'd like it to be a little bit nearer. Yay! Okay, and let's see what the official dub is, Mason. That was absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much, mate. And here we go. One minute and 41 seconds. But we got the under par. That is what it's all about. And we are finished. It's been a little while since I've shot under par, you know. I'm really happy with that. Nearly did it in less than an hour, but not quite. But it's probably more important that I finished that one off for me. Uh, but very, very, very impressed with the scooter. And uh, a chance to review the round now uh, using the old Tag Connected Golf Edition watch. And it's not just the Golf GPS watch and not just a smart watch. Obviously, it does all the things you'd expect from a smart watch links to your phone, your calendar, your messages, tracks your fitness, music on there, all those great things. But obviously, the Golf app itself is very, very good for out on the course. It's also got a companion app for your phone. So, let me show you this here. If I click on the round now and click on my score. I can see uh, gross and net. I can see my, obviously my score, my distribution, where I dropped my shots, where I made my shots up. You can do the distance tracking as I showed you out on the golf course. You click track once you've hit the shot, go to your ball and obviously it'll measure how far you've hit each shot. And if you add that down for every single shot, you'll basically get a distance for all the clubs in your bag, which is very, very cool. You can do a little score, re, uh, scorecard recap and map, shows you all your scores and then click on the map and you can actually use this while you're playing as well. If I scroll to the 18th, for example, you can see you can use this 3D tracker, which gives you even more detail than you get on the watch to see where your shots are going to go, where the hazards are, uh, and allow you to plan yourself out on the golf course as well, uh, which is double, double decent to be fair. So I'm going to leave loads of information down in the description below where you can learn more about the Tag Connected Golf Edition. Really, really great edition for me and my golf. I like using the range finders, but this gives you an extra element and keeps your score as well. So it's absolutely fantastic. Ideally, you can have both. Uh, so yeah, links on that down below. And guys, that's it. We are finished. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, please do also consider dropping a little subscribe. Make sure you don't miss any of my future videos coming soon. I can't wait to hear what you think of that scooter, guys. I'm telling you, it's the most fun I've had in a golf course in a long, long time. And it's resulted in good scores. I don't know whether that's because I'm just getting to the ball and hitting and not thinking about it or what, but certainly quicker and certainly a lot more fun. So there's links to that down in the description also. So there's nothing else to say apart from I'll see you again very soon. Ow.